Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the Velleman Wheel of Fortune kit. This kit consists of 10 LEDs, 2 yellow ones, 4 green ones and 4 red ones that spin around in a circle and stop on a certain one while flashing. If you're a beginner at soldering, I recommend this kit for you. It has few components and is relatively simple to make and solder. First, you start with the resistors. The yellow-purple-yellow -yellow resistor goes in R1. This resistor just there. The orange-orange-green resistor goes in R2. The brown, black, orange resistor goes in R3. The brown, black, yellow resistor goes in R4. The brown, black, green resistor goes in R5. The red, red, brown resistor goes in R6. And the black resistor goes in R7. Up next is the diode. This one here. And it goes in D1 making sure that the black stripe on the diode matches the stripe, the, y the white one, on the board. The capacitor goes in C1, just there. Then there's the IC sockets, the 14P IC socket, so the one that has seven legs on each side, goes in IC1, and the 16P IC socket goes in I2, IC2 and it has eight legs on each side. These two here. <laughs> then there's the push button and this goes in SW1, just there. Then the 10 LEDs, those all around the outside of the board there. The yellow LEDs go in LED1 and LED6. The red LEDs go in LED2, LED4, LED7 and LED9. And the green LEDs go in LED3, LED5, LED8 and LED10. Then there's the two electrolytic capacitors and those go in C2 and C3. They're and there. And then you need to put the IC chips into the IC sockets, making sure that the circle at the top of the chip matches the one on the socket and that matches the board. And then there's the battery holder. You put the red lead through the positive side which says red on it, and the black lead through the negative side, which says black and has a minus on it. And then screw it into the board and put your battery in, and then you are done. When inserting the LEDs into the board, check for polarity. The shorter leg should be at the flat side of the semicircle, and the longer leg at the front side. Check for polarity on the electrolytic capacitors. The shorter leg should be on the minus side and the longer leg on the positive.